Hi, everyone. I'm Lacey Chabert. And I'm uh, Kevin McGarry. And we are so excited to talk to you today about our new movie. The first Wedding Veil movie is premiering this weekend, and I am just so excited to share it with you. Hallmark gave us a couple questions uh, to do, <laughs> to ask each other, right? Yeah, <laughs> do it. Do you, wanna, do you wanna ask the first one? Yeah, sure. I'll go first. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So The Wedding Veil is the first installment in a three-part crossover movie event that follows three best friends who discover an enchanted veil on one of their antiquing trips. Can you tell us a little bit more about what excited you to make this movie? Me? Uh, yes. <laughs> are you asking me that or are you reading that? Okay. That was the question. So I think we, you know, I'm pretty sure we could both answer that one. Okay. You go first. Why were you excited to make this movie? I can't wait well, to hear Well, I think the number one reason was working with you. That was the <laughs> number one thing I was most excited about. Um, and what yeah, were your and... feelings on that after the experience? <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> we don't we cover that in another question no it, it was great the whole the whole thing was amazing um yeah i had such a blast working with you and and, and our team it was it was it was amazing and i also got to play a super rich guy so that was uh really fun too <laughs> yes so you did that quite well no i mean i think i just want to chime in that the thing i was so excited this was a passion project of mine and something that we had had in development for a long time and the most exciting part of it was that I would finally have the chance to share a story with, you know, some of the women that I admire from the network and my friends, my sisters, you know, Allie and Autumn. And um, so many of the fans out there have asked me over the years, when will you all be in a movie together? Or will you ever be in something together? So this was such a special story that gave us the opportunity to do that. And um, it was just a really, you know, awesome experience. So loved it. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> well, riddle me this. Uh, question number two. Okay. Uh, Avery, which is your character, I believe, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I do. I just play Avery. That's correct. Yeah. Is the first to put the legend to the test to see if anyone in possession of the veil will find true love and meets Peter, played by me. Uh, at a museum in San Francisco. Can you share a favorite scene that you can't wait for the viewers to see from when your characters first meet? Well, there are a few that I really like and enjoyed. Um, I think they meet and it's, 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 a, it's a little bit of a twist, I feel like, on the original Meet Cute. They meet, they have this amazing, I'm not giving anything away, this is the very beginning of the movie. They have this amazing day together, they have this chemistry, they have this connection, and it seems like the obvious thing would be to keep in touch and you know, continue this sort of you know, impromptu date that they find themselves on. And you misunderstand something, you see me holding the veil, think I'm getting married. Yeah, and you blame me though? Can you blame <laughs> no. me? You have a wedding no. veil. Yeah, I let's yeah. be honest. I have a wedding veil. You're only being yeah. a gentleman. And yeah. you kind of just say, like, see you later. And it's over. And then I go back to Boston. I'm at my job. And I run into you. Come to find out we're going to be working on a project together. You're aboard at the museum. And on the board of the museum. And I was like, I, I'm bored. Sorry. I'm bored at the museum? <laughs> Yeah, you, were, you might have been bored at the museum. I, Sorry about that. That's what I was playing. No, you're, uh, you're a new member of the board, on yes. the board. And it, um, we have to work together. And the misunderstanding between us continues to grow. And through that, there are, you know, there's a lot of comedy and, and fun and fun stuff. But I think one of my favorite scenes were, um, uh, gosh, I mean, there's, there's a lot. It's hard to choose. But um, I think just in the very beginning when we're at the museum and... Um, we're in the garden, this beautiful rose garden. This movie has a really beautiful look. Everything about it is very romantic and beautiful. And it's when the characters get first get to know each other and they realize they have so much in common that it's almost startling. And there's yeah. just some nice moments in that scene. Is it wasn't there something about mac and cheese like in every scene at one point yes. in one of the drafts? There was like Yeah, it's it's in that every scene. two minutes every two minutes we were getting mac and cheese from a different truck. <laughs> it's like that. In that scene. Yeah, there was a mac yes. and cheese cart nearby and um the most, it was the most romantic food that yeah. anybody could have together. 
Yes. And I was the one who had to eat the most of it. And at yeah. first I was kind of like, oh, mac and cheese, delicious. It's like three hours to lunch. I'm starving. Great. Yeah. And then by about take five, six, seven, not so much. And didn't I tell you something like I have, I, I, I try 50 different kinds of mac and cheese. And for whatever reason, that wasn't a red flag that you were like, okay, hold on. <laughs> 50 <laughs> types of this guy eats 50 times of mac and cheese. Anyways, that's what I remember. That was really yes. Yeah. yeah. Good times. Yeah. All right. Okay. So while Avery has possession of the veil, she returns to Boston and ends up having to work with Peter. Why do you think the viewers will connect with their relationship? Well, good question. Lindsay. And I think the answer is that basically what you already said, that there's a, you know, because of the misunderstanding that happens in, um, in San Francisco, it kind of sets them up to, you know, kind of be at each other's um, heads at the beginning, but they're both passionate about the same thing. And, and, and in that world, you know, because of their shared passion, we kind of, you know, start chiseling away at, at, at this misunderstanding at the, you know, the problem that is keeping these two to, uh, from being together. Yeah. No, this is great what you're saying. I, 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 I hear you. And it's like, I think it's the, it's a classic thing where, you know, obviously don't judge a book by its cover and like, I'm, you know, you think you know someone, but do you really? And, and through that, um, they end up connecting without even realizing it. Exactly. Through their shared passion of art. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And while they were very reluctant at the beginning to work together, they do make each other laugh and, you know, they bring out the best in each other and love begins to bloom. Exactly. All right. Okay. Next question. Oh, I yeah, I have a question for you. I think, I think it's your turn to ask. I hope you're ready. This is a long one. Um, <laughs> the veil sets in motion different adventures in love for not only our characters, but for Emma, played by Autumn Reese here, and Tracy, played by Allison Sweeney. Lacey, what was your experience getting to play best friends and work with Autumn and Allison? How hard was that? Oh, terribly hard. Yeah. yeah. You know, they are the best. Like I said before, it was a real dream come true for me just to be able to share an experience like this with someone else who understands what it's like to, you know, play the girl in these movies and the responsibility to the fans. And, you know, I feel like we live in this special little world being a part of the Hallmark family. And um, it was really nice to have the experience to share stories being on set um, with someone who really understood that, you know, from the a very specific perspective. And I was a fan of Autumn and Allie for a long time. And, you know, we already knew each other in life and we're already friends, but through the process of doing this, we've gotten to know each other so much better and a deeper friendship has been formed. And my respect for them has only, you know, grown bigger. They're just wonderful. And I think that I really, I hope the audience is going to love us all together because I think that the audience will be able to see themselves in one of the characters. You know, we're all very different. The way that the ladies are written, um, they're very specific. And I think the writers did a wonderful job of really giving us each very unique, specific personalities. And so I think it has something for everyone to offer. And, and you know, beyond the the romantic part of the story and the romantic comedy and the the love story, it's also a love story between friends. And that's just such a beautiful relationship, you know, in life that I think we were finally able to explore a little more here. Okay. Pop quiz. I'm going to ask another one. This, I'm going off the... Uh, oh, wait. We're, oh, wait. We're going off which, script. Okay. We're going off script. Which one is the Rachel? Which one is the Monica? And which one is the Feet? <laughs> that's what I want to know. Great. Which one is the Rachel? Yeah. Um, uh, Oh gosh, I don't know that any of them, any of us are just, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I can yeah. answer that. Completely. I'll I, answer. I think Allison. Okay. Yeah, actually, Rachel. yeah. Who do you think is who? Allison's the Rachel. Okay. Um, you are the Monica. And Autumn's the Phoebe. I think that's pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. I think it's that's, that's as close as it's going to get. <laughs> Spot on. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Right. Those are my questions. <laughs> okay. All right. Is it my turn? Here we go. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't wait for everyone to see Avery and Peter's love story unfold. Kevin, how is your really? character, Peter, yes, different yeah. 
this is how is he different from Nathan from When Calls the Heart? Oh. And do you hear any of the same qualities between any of these characters? Um, well, I mean, Nathan is much more of a kind of straight shooter. He, he's grumpier. Nathan's a grumpier guy. Um, uh, Peter had a bit more fun. I mean, you know, like I said, he, he kind of grew up in, um, well, no, no, wait a minute. He, he was wealthy, but he didn't start off being wealthy, but he, Peter has a bit more fun to him. He has a bit more play where Nathan is a bit, uh, it's harder to get that guy to crack a smile. Um, do they have any similar um, similar qualities, though? Um, yeah, you know they're both. I think in a way they both wear their heart on their sleeve. Um, there was moments when, like Peter opened up to Avery, and I think you know he was uh, he's, he's vulnerable in certain uh, scenarios with her. And I think Nathan could be the same. You know, if he, he once you get through all those layers, he uh, you know he lays himself pretty bare. So, yeah. yeah, I think I think that's maybe where they where they are similar. If yeah, I see that similarity. I think Peter is so romantic. You had some really good dialogue, and like you said, like yeah. he's a character that was like willing to be vulnerable, and that's there was a lot of beautiful romantic stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and I got a question for you. Uh, so the viewers. Let me tell you, are thrilled to see us starring in a Hallmark movie together for the first time. <laughs> uh, are there any fun stories that we have from filming? No, zero. I know. Fun. I was gonna. As I was reading it, I was like, oh, okay. No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna say. Uh, do we have any fun stories? We uh, laughed a lot. We laughed a lot, and you also really enjoyed making me laugh right before we rolled. And you're able yeah. to stop laughing, and I'm not. So special. that was great. I see. That's got really me, got me in trouble with our director quite a few times. That was excellent. Who was great, uh, actually, and you've worked with him so many times, Terry. That was the first time I ever yes. worked with Terry. And he yeah, great. Terry's wonderful. Terry's wonderful. I just remember him yelling from off screen, "Can you guys give me something I can use now, please?" <laughs> there were we doing. We were doing a scene, and they had the isn't it the crane? Like it was this it was wide crazy. shot over the harbor. Yeah. And yes, we were just and kind of laughing, that. and you're like, "Are we doing the?" Because we were shooting so wide, and I was like, "No, they're not going." This and we were just like joking around, and you're like, I don't yes, know, you're like they're they're getting this, and then all of a sudden this yell from, you know, twenty yes. years away, being like, can you guys just say the lines, please? Yes, can... it was a very wide shot, craning up exactly, and we were just joking around. I'm eating the mac and cheese again, about to be the Ill. mac and cheese. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. <laughs> you keep saying these ridiculous lines that are obviously never going to be used because we're thinking, oh, they're not using the audio from this. This is just a big <laughs> establishing wide shot, and I was yeah. like. I think they, we are Mike. They're probably listening. Like we should probably just save oh, the lives. Like, oh no! And then Terry's yeah, it's fine. Like, can you give me something I can yeah. use? We'd like to go to lunch. If you guys could just say the lines. Oh no! But we had a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. and so hopefully that comes across, and you know the audience will have fun with this. Mm -hmm. All right. Without any spoilers, can you tease what viewers can expect when watching this trilogy? Will we get to see more of Avery and Peter in the next two movies? Well, I mean, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> spoilers. I think what, okay, so I, for me, without giving any of it away, it's it's a mystery within a love story. Like there's, there's a lot of historical uh, things that come up that are very interesting. And we learn the origin of the veil and kind of how it got its magic, so to speak. Um, mm -hmm. while we're also watching these two people, you know, have their relationship transpire. And I think what we've tried to really do is make each movie a standalone movie where if you're just watching that one for the first time, you won't have to know what's already previously happened. But if you're able to watch them consecutively and see all three movies together, you'll be able to follow all of the clues and threads that are, you know, woven throughout all of them. So hopefully that's accurate. <laughs> that sounds, that's a good answer. Yeah. Okay. Good answer. Uh, okay. Well, to wrap up our live chat, we have a, we, I have a rap, we have a rapid fire we do. game. Yeah. Oh, you got it on. Okay. So we both have this rapid fire game <laughs> of this or that inspired by the wedding veil and the other new year, new movies. So pick the option you like best, best um, 
in brackets it says we can both answer. So Great. feel free to jump. Feel free to jump in. Okay. okay. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna hit the first one. Traditional okay. vows or write your own vows. What would you um, do? We did both. You done? Oh, you yeah, did both? <laughs> I did get married. I have been married. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I am married yeah. in real life. Yes, and we did both. Yeah, we 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 recited some traditional things as well as wrote our own things. I don't think I've ever been more nervous in my life as when I, I just wanted to read it well and like not cry and not, you know, and, and just, uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to write yeah. it down, which is, it wasn't that long, but, and I'm an actress, like we memorize pages of monologues, but I knew I was going to be nervous and emotional in that moment. So I had to just have it written down. Yeah, but exactly. It's, it's a way different thing I imagine than acting than, you know, standing up there and just bleeding your heart out to somebody and then I have all your family around there too. So I would yeah. do, I'd, I'd write as well. I think that would just be incredibly hard and, and amazing. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, so let me keep going. I'll, I'll, so yeah. um, right. would you plan a museum gala or would you plan a wedding? A wedding. I would plan weddings all day long. I love party planning in general, but especially weddings because they're so romantic. And it's that just sounds like a movie idea. <laughs> that sounds like a movie idea. Yeah. Um, I plan a museum. Why? I mean, have you seen Night at the Museum? The things come alive. Wait, are you going to plan the actual museum or are you planning a museum gala? I'm confused. I misread the question and I'm going to stick with my answer on planning a museum. And, no, your answer is more interesting. I love and it. And I'd like to oh, reiterate yeah. the fact that Ben Stiller started a documentary where the museum came to life. So... I, love that I think that sounds way more fun than a wedding, but I love that movie, by the way. It was a great movie. Um, okay, are you going to jump in on some of these? Do you want me to just keep going? Sure. Just keep going. Just You're keep going. Great. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go uh, at a wedding, so this is back to you. Uh, are you more likely to take photos in a photo booth or spend the night on the dance floor? Um, both. We managed to do both at our wedding. Both. We danced. We danced. Oh, you like said both. Oh, yeah. yeah, we did both. And and we had a photo booth. And those are some of my favorite pictures. It's so fun because you don't get to see your friends taking the pictures during it, you know, but then when people start texting you copies of the pictures afterwards, and everybody's just being silly and having a good time. I love those pictures. Yeah, I would dance in a photo booth. And then it really, to your point, gets it all done. Gets it all done. Love it. Gets it all done. Okay, explore a museum or walk around the city. I guess it would depend on what city, in all honesty, right? Yeah, true, true. I'm going to go yeah. with walk around the city, though. You're I'll... right. Let's leave it at that. Let's just, just leave it at walk around the city. Yeah. Perfect. Because all cities are great. Wherever yeah. you're from, wherever you're watching, you, get, you live in a great city or town or village or hamlet, whatever. Moving on. Um, make, would you make a vision board or would you set a New Year's resolution? Vision board. I don't like yeah. resolutions. Yeah, I love a vision board. I love a good arts and crafts. And it's, I love dreaming about what you, you know, hope to see happen in your life. I used to set resolutions and then I would always feel bad about, you know, how on January like 4th, I had already ruined it. So <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. don't do that to myself anymore. You know, I try to make good changes. I try to be positive if there's things that I need to work on, but I love a good vision board. I'm all about yeah. it. I think you, I'm with you. you, you you'll stick more to a vision board because you got you see it every every time you go to bed, right? Aren't you supposed to like put them in your bedroom, above your bed, on the on your ceiling, something like um, that? I write that somewhere. Yeah, you could, yes. Right. <laughs> you could do that, yeah. But That's I feel perfect. I I've made lots of resolutions that I've forgotten about, you know, the next week. So I'm with you. I think I think a vision board. No, no, no I made yeah, no, I made lots of New York New Year's resolutions. So I'm, yeah. I'm picking the vision board. Love okay. it. I love it. And I final, finally, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day? New Year's Eve. Yeah. It's, yeah, I New just Year's love Day. me. I love the excitement. You know, usually you're doing something fun, even if you're just home. Like, I love the festivity. I love the feeling of all, of all experiencing the same thing at the same time. There's something that's just very, like, comforting about that. And then I'm always a little, like, I always get a little down after the big event, you know, New Year's yeah. Day, I'm always like, because it means Christmas is really over, you know? And it means taxes, <laughs> taxes start. <laughs> Bring the reality. 
Yeah. So I'm with you. I mean, it means you have to take down your Christmas tree, which I haven't done yet. And I know people are really going to judge me for it. I'm going to leave it up a little bit longer. So Really? You're not even home right now. I know, but it's staying up. It's still up? up? It's still up and it's stay. I mean, I think this year and just the way things have been, like, why not leave it up? It makes me happy. You should leave your Christmas lights up all year, too. I mean, then they'll be up already, right? And then then it's so much less work next December. I mean. Yeah. It'll look good. It'll look good in the summertime. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, this has been very, very fun. So good to see you again. You and too. I'm so, you're so wonderful in the movie. And I'm so excited that we finally get to share this with you guys. And it's been an honor to bring this to life. And I hope that you love going on this journey with these characters. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy the premiere this Saturday night. Again, this is the first installment of the Wedding Bell trilogy to be followed by two other movies in February. And uh, we're going to be live tweeting. Are you going to be live tweeting? Oh, yeah. I'll be on there. I'll do, I'll give a few gifts. Right? <laughs> Thank I'll you put so a much. gift or two up there. Thanks for your yeah. contribution. Thank wow. you. It'll be a good one. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, put, some, funny I'll put some thought in it. Though. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys can all join us. You can just use the um, hashtag, the wedding veil, and we'll be sure to answer your questions and respond. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. Yeah, guys. All Thank right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.